hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can use jetty server in our spring boot macro service or spring boot application so in other way like how we can migrate from inbuilt embedded tomcat into spring boot to jetty server okay so what is jetty so jetty is a basically open source web server and a servlet container so additionally it provides support to http2 protocol websocket osgi jmx jndi and jazz and many other integration so these components are open source and they are freely available uh, for commercial use and distribution so jetty is used in a wide variety of projects into development and production so it can easily embedded into our microservices, devices, tools, frameworks, and application servers. Okay, and uh, like uh, why to use Jetty? So these are some features where uh, like uh, we can uh, choose the Jetty instead of other servers. Like uh, it is a fully featured and standard based. It is open source, commercially usable. Then it's a uh, flexible and extensible. It has it is a em embeddable also so like uh, we can embed instead of tomcat it is asynchronous uh, enterprise and scalable and dual license under apache and eclipse okay so this is a small intro about uh, jetty so now let's dive into our program okay so here i'm using this uh, spring tool suit so this is like uh, extended eclipse so here i am creating this uh, create new spring starter project so click on this so first we will create a uh, by default a spring boot microservice and then we will migrate that to jetty server so type is a maven then packaging is a jar java version 8 and language java so let's say next we can choose the uh, library as a spring web this is the dependency we required so inside the spring web we have uh, this uh, tomcat container okay so this project is created let's go to pom.xml okay so spring boot is using this artifact that that is a spring boot starter web so that embedded tomcat is lying inside this uh, starter web so in order to verify this so we will generate the dependency tree so go to run configuration and uh, th this is the goal that is a dependency colon tree so we need to execute this goal okay so this goal is completed let's search for tomcat okay so if you can see this uh, spring framework dot uh, boot dot spring boot starter tomcat so this is coming so you can observe this child into this parent this is the parent this is the spring boot starter web so inside this uh, this uh, tomcat is there okay so we need to exclude this tomcat okay so now how to exclude this so and we have to add this jetty server okay before excluding so let's uh, create one controller and let's create one uh, rest call and we will see if it is running with the tomcat okay so here this is the our uh, entry point for the spring boot here declare this as a rest controller okay so so now we have to add one uh, rest mapping so for this type add the rate get mapping okay so inside this get mapping let's say we are going to call hello tomcat okay so now public get message return hello public string yeah that's it so let's run this okay. so now you can observe this tomcat started on port 8080 and our application is started so now let's verify if our application is running so go to browser and type localhost colon 8080 slash hello tomcat so you can see so we we got the message hello tomcat server so now we will exclude we will migrate this tomcat to uh, jetty container okay so for that we just need to exclude 
this tomcat uh, dependency so we previously seen this dependency into this uh, starter web so so here you need to write one exclusion so type exclusion okay so inside this exclusions so we have to write one single exclusion so that is exclusion okay okay so what we have to exclude so just copy this we need to exclude the library inside this parent library so what is this so that is tomcat okay so now save it and uh, stop this application and try if tomcat is running or not okay so i will run this same application again okay so it is saying that uh, started this application but there is a no container is there so there is no web server is started so if you try to run this application also then also it will not run yeah so it is not running so we need to now we have excluded the tomcat now we have to include the tomcat include the the dependency which is having jt server so copy this okay and here instead of web you can type jt that's it so we have added this dependency we have excluded tomcat and we have included this jt so now again we can run this application okay so by using jetty so our application start failed so why it is failed because uh, in uh, spring latest version so you can see this is the 3.0.2 version okay so basically this package is not available into latest version of spring so instead of that uh, like uh, they have migrated to another package of jakarta okay so in order to solve this so we have to downgrade the downgrade this version so for now we are taking 2.7.8 okay and uh, we are just again building this application okay so if you can see this message so jt is started on port 8080 and uh, our spring boot application is also started okay so now let's verify this if our application is running fine so go here copy this oh now okay wait a second so here we will write hello jetty hello jetty server save it and let's stop this once and let's restart this application okay so jetty is started so let's verify this copy this go to the browser and type localhost again colon 8080 slash hello jetty yeah that's it so we got this message hello jetty server so that is from here hello jetty server and uh, from this jetty server only so there is a no tomcat so you can verify this also by use, by creating the dependency tree so go to run configuration okay and uh, here generate this dependency tree okay so build is success let's verify search for jt okay so you can see like uh, in in spring web so this is the starter web so in starter web so we have this uh, spring boot uh, starter jt instead of tomcat okay so we can see jakarta servlet api so in 3 uh, 3.0 version of spring boot so this uh, jakarta servlet is servlet is 6.0 but that is moved into another package so that's why it is not able to start
okay so this way like uh, we can migrate from tomcat to jt server that is like inbuilt server configuration for tomcat or uh, source for sorry for spring boot yeah so that's it for today stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching Thank you.